Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to introduce you to a WordPress plugin that makes it very easy for you to change the fonts of your website to the Google fonts that you want to use. All right, so we're going to do this by adding a plugin. So we're going to go to our dashboard, go to plugins, add new. And then over here in the search plugins field, we're going to type out easy Google fonts. The first option is the one that we want. You can see is active on over 300,000 active WordPress installations and has really good reviews. We're going to install it. Once installed, we'll activate it. And now you can go to the settings if you want. And this is your settings page. If you want to create a new font control, you can do that here. And we'll do that in a moment. If you have multiple font controls, you can manage them here. And then you have your advanced settings as well. All right, but for now, what we're going to do is go to our customize. And you get this new option here, typography. But first, let me go to the demo page that I created for this presentation. And now we have our H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. And then you have the uh, paragraph text and a block quote. So we're going to play around with those now. So if you go into, let's play around with the heading two. Let's do the font family. Let's try Gothic. So you saw that change, right? We're going to change it there to Curry and New. Back to Gothic. And you can see it changing right here inside the customizer. All right, so we're going to just leave it with that one for now. And then if you want to choose the font weight or style, you can do that. And you see it's changing, right? So what if you want to change the color? Well, instead of the styles panel, you click on this appearance tab. Choose the font color that you want. Click on that. And then you can change some of the other information as well. So if you want to change the letter spacing and do that, you can adjust the line height and font size. All right, so now we played around with this. Let's see if we can save it and publish. We're going to go back to the front end. We're going to view that particular page, see if it took effect. And it did. You see the change taking effect right here. Very simple to do. All right, so now what did I mention about the font controls, the custom controls? All right, so some of these options are not uh, built in. All right, so we have these block quotes. So we're going to have to target these directly. So if you inspect the element, you're going to see it has the CSS selector of block quote. Copy that. Go back to your dashboard and go to settings, Google fonts, and then you're going to create a custom control. We're going to create this font control, and then we're going to put the actual selector there. We're going to save that. And now we're going to go back to our customizer. We're going to select that page, go to typography, go here to theme typography, and then custom block quote. We're going to edit this and we can change it. You see it taking effect. So that's a nice way to deal with that. And then you could also change again the color if you want, change it up a little bit, change the spacing around, change the, the font size, the line height, things of that nature. So you really get a, a nice way to customize the look and feel of your website by adding additional fonts to your website and the ability to customize the, uh, the way it looks. It gives you a more unique uh, feeling to your site without having to really touch a line of code. At most, when you create a custom control, you'll just have to do a right click on your mouse, go to inspect, and take a look at what the selector is. The selectors are either going to be the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and so on, paragraph, block quotes, footer, uh, things of that nature, article. So you can select the option that you're looking for. So it's very little CSS you might have to know. Uh, but very basic. And then you can alter it by creating a custom control. Very simple to do, very user friendly. And you might find this beneficial to a website that may have some limited fonts available and you may want to add additional fonts. You get a wide selection from Google Fonts API and uh, you get to use them on your website. All right, so hopefully you found this episode helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any thoughts or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.